Hello and welcome today. We are going to try, no, we're not going to try, we are going to bulk rename files. There's a number of ways to do this. We're looking at doing it from the shell. Now, normally when you rename a file on a Unix or a Unix-like operating system such as Linux, you would use actually the move command and just move one file to a new location or to a new name. There is a command called rename that isn't installed by default on most systems, but usually is in the repositories. I've done videos on that in the past. Today, though, we're going to look at a program called Vidar. I'm assuming is how you say it. And it's actually, if it's usually in a package called more utils. So on a Debian-based system, you would install it with sudo apt install more utils for more utilities. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to run that. But once it's installed, you can run it by typing vidir. Now, by default, if you don't have an editor set, it is going to default to Vi. Uh, so if you want to use Vim, for example, you'll want to export the variable editor, capital letters, Vim. If you want to do, use NeoVim as I do, you export it as so. And to make that permanent, you put it in your RC file. If you're running bash, it's bash RC, dot bash RC in your home directory. Or if it's Z shell, it's dot ZRC in your home directory. Once you have that set, you can type in vidir, and if you run it in the current directory, it's going to look at the files in the current directory, which I should show you real quick. If I list it out, I've got some files here. I got some text files, I got some JPEG files, and if I just type in dir, or sorry, vidir, it's going to look at those, it's going to list them here, and now I can start renaming them if I want in different ways. So I could say, okay, I want to rename this one with an underscore here. I'm going to put an A at this one. And then when I save and exit out of this file, if I list out the files now, you can see that those files were renamed. But of course, if you're using a program like Vim or NeoVim, uh, you, there's other ways you can go about doing that by changing things with different shortcuts. For example, I can come in here and I can hit Control V to go into visual mode. I can select a couple of these like so. I can hit C and I can say new text. And when I hit escape, it renames those, and then when I exit out and save the file, if I list out the files now, you can see that I have renamed those ones that I had selected and renamed. Now, that's a quick thing you can do with it, but also if you just want to look at specific files, of course you can pass it things like, let's say I just want to edit the JPEGs in this file. I can say vidar asterisk dot jpg, and now it's only going to list the JPEG files, and again I can take some of these and I can rename it as image using whatever shortcuts you want. And now I can list that out and you can see that the ones that I had selected, I have renamed as image. And the ones that I didn't change are still IMG. Uh, so yeah, it's a simple program, simple script. Again, it's in the uh, package on most systems under more utils and then it's Vidar. And you know what? I really feel like at one point I wrote a bash script that basically does this. Uh, basically it would list all the files, save one list to a file, open up a, a copy of that, edit it, and then I would paste the commands together. So that might be something I do in a future video, just kind of recreate the basic functionality of this with my own little bash script. Um, so that's it. I thank you for watching Films by Chris.com. That's Chris with a K. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Vidar is very simple. Again, you can use this with whatever editor you want. Again, you just have to export capital editor and then whatever the name of your editor is. And then once you edit that file and save it and exit, it will then um, rename those files. I thank you for watching Films by Chris.com. There's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. I also have a Patreon page linked to that in the description. I hope you check that out. I thank you for your support. I thank you for watching, your thumbs ups, your comments, your likes, all that stuff. I hope that you have a great day.